Yo, this is Tunnel Place, The Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap. Now we are back in Hyrule Town after getting our first element, and now it's time for us to do something other stuff before we head to Mount Cornell. First of all, more importantly, we are going to go inside this house right here. This house is very important for us in order to be able to progress in the game, but also to become better at what we already can do, which is swordmanship. So, we are inside this place right here to meet this guy. This guy is important for us to learn our techniques as a sword swordsman. I am Swiftblade, finest swordsman in all of Hyrule. If you train with me, I guarantee that you will increase your skill dramatically. So, would you like to train here? Please! We shall start with the most basic of all techniques. I shall teach you the spin attack. First, press and hold your sword button. Second, build up enough power. Third, release your destructive might. That's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? Sure we do. Haha, <laughs> very good. You're a very quick student. But one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body as to demonstrate the technique. I call this the Swift Blade Switcheroo Technique of Training. Watch this. Arr! Switcheroo! Arr! Now, you must try it yourself. Press and hold your sword button, build up enough power, then release your destructive might. That's all there is to it. So, you hold in your button for sword. You heard a sound? You release. Yes! Fine work! You're a quick study. I will now give you this tiger scroll. If you ever forget this technique, you can revive it in this scroll. You may view it anytime from the quest status screen. You learned the secret spin attack fighting technique. This is the first sword technique you learned from Master Swiftblade. There are no more techniques I can teach you with your current sword. Come again when you have a new sword in hand. Okay. Let's do that then. We come back to him later. That's nice. Now we got our first spin attack. So once again, hold it out and release. Awesome. Our next stop now is to go to another place, which we'll be visiting right now. And that's gonna be in this place. See the rupees on the top of the building? Yeah, what do you think it's gonna be? It's what we call a shop. Oh. oh, yes, yes. Welcome, welcome. Please feel free to browse. So we have some items here. We have 30 uh, Mr. Shells. We have 10 bombs. We have a shield if you need one. And this one is that what we really want. So in order to buy something, you press the R button to lift it. Then you go to him with the item. Only 80 rupees for a wallet. It can hold the king's ransom in rupees. Will you buy it? Yes, we want to. You got a big wallet. Now you can carry more rupees. Much obliged, my good lad. Please do not hesitate to stop by again. Oh, uh, we will for sure. Because the thing is that the old world we had only killed 99 rupees. If we got more, the limit will just keep at 99. Now we can call the whooping 300 rupees. That's something really good, isn't it? So that's pretty cool. Now let's head on to another place you want to go. Hmm, things have changed a bit here. The bell people are right here, but where are the others? And what's all with this dust running on here? Hmm. Let's get rid of this dust, shall we? Take the gust jar and blow it all away. There we go. So that's nice. Now we clean up this spot. Now there's nothing for us to go to do with this spot right now, but if you come back later. Some guy will come here and probably give us something cool. That sounds good, alright? Alright, so now we want to head to the north part of the town. 
just east of the entrance to North Hyrule Field, which is about here. -ish. Here we go. You have seen this one before? Mm -hmm. you know what to do? Holder of the Sacred Powers, grant you the power of wind. Hey, that stand up is crumbled, and there's another of those marks. You know, no matter how many times I see that happen, it still rattles me. Yeah, I guess that kind of thing would be as well. We'll, we'll get to know these things later, it's just still very important. There's some other stuff we can do here as well, like some side quests, including some um, some Kaku collecting game, and there's uh, ways to collect some more rupees. But the grand prize of this always quest is something that we can do right now. Oh, and um, speaking of which, there's actually something else you can go and buy at the shop that we were just came from. So we go back in the shop this time. Is a new item. That boomerang is a real bag in the 300 rupees. Will you buy it? No, we can't. We don't afford it. Ah, my friend, you're far too clever by half. But you won't be haggling with me. I guess not. But yeah, the boomerang costs 300 freaking rupees. No way we'll be able to be affording that, so... Oh well, that's too bad. So, um, yeah, if you really want to get the uh, boomerang, go ahead and go and grind if you want to, but I'm not going to do that. No way. That's just way too costly. Alright, so let's go on and head out to the northwestern side part of town here. With this guard. See, he's following us. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why doesn't he follow me? Let's talk to him. Ho, ho. So you learned the spin attack? It's still dangerous, but maybe you can handle it. Well, let's see how you do. Show me that spin attack. Sure. Hold it in, and release. Yeah, that's the one. But there are monsters out there, kid. You just make sure you're careful. Oh, we will for sure. Mount Cronel is this the way. So, let's go. Trilby Highlands. Now we're talking. Oh, look at this. We got a kinstone piece. These mystic stones are said to bring happiness. Oh, well, that is for sure. That's we got a kinstone, we're gonna be collecting more of those throughout our quest, so that's gonna be nice. Royal Valley to the top and Mount Cornell to the left. So much of these rocks around here everywhere. Quite a lot of these places. What don't you think? But we are not completely done yet. Let's go trick around a bit. Let's climb out this ladder that we found here, for example. Now this thing here is something we can do right now, but we can do that later, but... Hmm... Hear the sound? It means there is some crack walls here! Let's blow it up! There we go! Aha! Uh -huh. There's a deco scrub! So what you do? Oh, look at this! A kinstone piece! Nice! Okay, young Akme! Let me make it up for you! You can have this most deluxe of all bottles for only 20 rupees! So what do you say, huh? Well, no thanks. Heh, <laughs> then you're lost! Now, why do you think I don't want the, the, ba the bottle? Well, I do want the bottle. It's just a problem. It costs 20 rupees. I have 10 rupees. So we have to be getting some more rupees before we can even get the bottle. That's one reason why I decided to go if we grind something. So that's unfortunate, but... At least we can go and see if we can get some rupees right now. Some quick ones. Get a magic shell at least, and get a few rupees. Need seven more. Crush these rocks so we can get some money. The only reason was I want to get the big uh, bottle right away, the big bag of wallet, because sometimes you're just nice to have a lot of amount of cash instead of being limited to 
and a certain amount of rupees. Of course you could have waited with buying the wallet and get the ball first and then go back, maybe, but no. I like doing this way. Okay, so let's see, there's nothing more up here and this place. Nothing we can go through right now. And now we are here at Mount Cronel Base. Climb up here and ourselves some rupees. Now we can go for it. But speaking of which, there's something else here. Mm hmm, there's a cracked wall. Let's see what's inside. Blow it. There we go. Another Deacon Scrub. Maybe he can give us something cool as well. Let's put on our shields. We can block his uh, his attack. Go. Okay, you got me. I'm gonna grab you by telling you something good. A friend of mine in a cave in the south of Trilby Highlands has a handy tool. If you wanna climb Mount Crenel, I suggest you go buy it from him. So the thing he's referring to is the exactly the item that we've been wanting to get. Of course, we got some bombs, store mini bomb bag, which is very really nice. So that guy is referring to the very same Deku scrub we were talking of, talking with just before meeting with him. The guy with the ball, you know. So, since we got the 20 rupees from from the place we just were, let's go down here and let's talk to the guy again and get our bottle. So let's buy his bottle for 20 rupees, that's fine. The balls are very useful. Sure! You got an empty bottle. Use it to store all sorts of things. Thanks for that. So why do we need this ball, you might think? Well, as I said, it can carry stuff. So we could, for go could of course go back to the fairy cave and get a fairy if you need to, if you're feeling that you might be having trouble against some enemies or bosses. But more importantly in this case, we need a bottle to carry water. You put water in your bottle, sprinkle it on different things. Now why do you think we need water? Take a look at these roots here. It's growing because there's water nearby. Same with these two as well. And what about this one then? There's no water around here. Well we have water in our in our bottle. So let's sprinkle. And there we go. Let's get more water in the bottle, of course, since we can, um, so that we can take it on in case we need it. Okay, let's move on. Let's see what else we have here? Green water. Oh, these ones again. Do you remember those in the Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past? Yeah, those are annoying. Let's watch out for boulders here. Dangerous. No climbing. Oh really? That's that's a poo poo. Oh well. Let's keep on going westward here. We'll find bombable wall. Hmm. Let's get this Takiti here. Let's get ourselves a little bomb. Give it a little blow in the wall to see what we can find inside here. Aha! Fairies. And money! Let's keep these fairies for now. Now we have a new fairy cave to go through if we need fairies. Just go in and out if you need fairies to replenish your health, that's pretty nice. Alright, let's continue up here. Uh, let's just get the gust jar out so we can clear out the dust. You never know what can be made these things, so... Something might be in through these things. We have these tikitis here. They're so jumping around. Sometimes they make me crazy. You never know with these enemies. There's two of them as well. Oh, don't jump on me. Oh, that was a nice dodge. A few more of this dust. Nothing here. What about here? Nothing here. How about here? No. Here though. No. 
Is there variation here? I'm really wondering. That sound is interesting. Let's try a bump. Aha! That's nice. There's something more though. There's another wall here. It's in a cave here as well. So much place to go. Let's check this one first. There's some bats here, some keys. They're called in the Zelda universe. And you also have this mushroom here. Hmm. I'm wondering. Nah. Let's go through the other cave first. I think we're gonna go through this cave to progress. I wanna explore the other caves first. Let's go through this one first and see what this one has. Red choo choos. Okay. Stop hiding! Fight! There we go. Aha! Here we can shrink in size again. That's nice. Some more stuff we can get here as well if you we need to. So, in order to go through here, we need to put a bump first because we can't go through here as a little as a little minish. We can't go through here because the place is too small. So, let's go inside and let's shrink. There we go, we're so small and tiny. Inside a little mountain block. So it is perfectly normal looking stone with another portal to the Minish world. I suppose I have remembered that if it stopped to think about it. Yeah, I guess so too. Go through here and we can go inside here. Remember that we are very small now, so even the smallest of usual bugs are now rather big. These ones would have even been watched on our fingers if we were normal size. I watch these boulders. They might be pebbles compared to the normal size world, but they are huge and can do damage to you. So beware. Get rid of these ones as well. And here are some more water. Everything need the water for? Yeah, we need it for this one. So the normal water, and let's get. You put cradle hot spring water in your bottle. It's piping hot. Yeah, we need this water to progress in the game, so let's keep it and let's stick with it. In case something I miss, click something, let's just keep the bottle away. Now we've gotten ourselves this new cool thing, let's go in here again and grow back to normal size. Just jump off the ledge here, and let's make our way left. Let's see what this thing was again. Ah, business scrub. What do you have for us, mister? Okay, you got me. I'll make it up to you by selling you bombs. Ten of them for 30 rupees. So what do you say, huh? Well, we can't afford it, so that's too bad. At least we know that if you need bombs, you can just go inside this place here to get the bombs for us. Let's go in this place again and let's go through the mushroom. Grab it and pull backwards. And release. More of these keys here. We can buy more bombs if we want to, but nah, we have fine. We're fine. Awesome. This one looks cool. Once you pulled off their iron masks, these guys are no trouble whatsoever. Yeah, but how do they pull off their iron mask? I don't know. Maybe they don't like these jars. Oh, they're good against that as well. Oh, well, at least we can outplay them. Just follow them until they turn their back and then hit them in the back. Of course, we can use the gust jar as well if you want to pull them off. I can show you. There we go. Oh, look how small and cute they are. That's a bit cruel, though. 
Animal cruelty. This didn't make any worse. I pull the jar and the mask off and I take them both down. Now we're more far upwards here. Speaking of which, I actually forgot about the time. We're running out of time. I have to stop right here. So, we have reached Mount Crenel base. We're climbing up Mount Crenel and hopefully we'll be finding a way into the next dungeon. In which we can find the next element. Not to forget the guy we have to talk to that can repair our blade perhaps. So things are about to look much better now as we are climbing up another mountain. So from the woods to the mountain, things are about to become quite different here in this world. If you have any feedback on Let's Play or discuss this game, leave a comment below this video. If you want to be up notified and upload more parts and other stuff on my channel, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But I just want to say thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.